it cancer, it's God, it's pup, and this is how they feel about you. All right, so this can go for family, friend, work, love. Let's get into it. How does the person on cancer's mind feel about them? How does the person on cancer's mind feel about cancer at this very moment in time? How does the person on cancer's mind feel about cancer at this very moment in time? And this reading is timeless, so whenever you see this reading is when it is meant for you. All right, we have released your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. So I feel like this person is trying to release you at this time, or if it's not you, they're trying to release an ex so that they can come towards you. I feel like this is someone you're not speaking to right now. I can already see that this person, you are in separation from this person. Whether you are in a relationship or not, this is someone who you're currently not speaking to and they're really trying hard to release you or release someone else so that they can come to you. I feel like regardless of whether or not they're trying to release someone else, I feel like this person tried to release you too, but they can't. And they're wondering if you've released them very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This person's worrying if you've released them too, especially if you've already moved on. They're wondering if you still have feelings for them. This person's stressed. Whether you've moved on or not though, this person is wondering if you've released them. They're scared because I feel like you guys are in separation. So with the very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. They're scared that someone's about to come in engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment if this person is in a relationship say first that you have an ex that you know for a fact that watches you or even if you don't know there is someone from your past they could be getting into a relationship right now to try to release you but i overall energy it's a deception deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship yeah, this person, so this is someone, and this, it doesn't have to be love. It could be a family member, a friend who you cut off, and all of a sudden they're in a relationship, and you, it seems like they've moved on with their life, or they have new friends, and they, it seems like they've moved on with their life or replaced you. They're, they're trying, they're getting into this relationship or into this higher level of commitment with someone else, they're trying to replace you in order to get over you. But it's a decept over energy is a deception. Yeah, they're trying to replace you to get over you, even if they've already tried to do this, like they've already in a relationship, they already got new friends, they already it's a decept, it's a lie. And I feel like this person tried to move on quick too, and it, it didn't work. They're stressed. Now they're stressed to see if you're moving on. And you know what's crazy? This person could have moved on and got into a new relationship thinking that you would try to do the same real quick or thinking that you were in a relationship only to find out that you're just chilling that, or that you're not. Or someone could have thought you got in a relationship just to make them jealous or got new friends to make them jealous. And that's not the case. Someone is just stressed. I just see someone really looking like this. Like they're really sitting there looking like this. All right, I'm about to pull from this deck, but real quick. If this reading is already resonating, um, I have a special going on right now that's $22 for three questions. It's a same day reading and it's video recorded. So if you are interested, email me at goddesspufftarot at gmail.com. All the information will be linked in the description box below and I'll pin it at the top in the comments. But I just wanted to say something while I'm recording. <laughs> but again, $22 for three questions or a general any additional questions is an extra $10. It's the same day and it's video recorded. All right, let's get into it. We have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Yeah, I feel like after this person left your life, oh, okay, I'm not saying I feel bad for them or anything, but this person feels like you were the only person that gave them unconditional love. Like they never felt... I'm hearing Natasha Bedingfield never, did she say never find a love like this or never felt a love like this or something like this? Something like that. Um, love Like This by Natasha Bedingfield. Oh my God, this person misses you real bad. <laughs> Girl with the snake, but I don't like them. You know what? Because they could be, this is a type of person where they could have been messy towards you and now they're with a narcissist 
So I'm not calling anyone a narcissist. I'm not even saying they're with a narcissist. This person could display narcissistic traits because I'm no psychologist. <laughs> Girl with the snake, impact, narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled boundaries. So this person... I don't know why you guys broke up. I'm going to, of course, pull the tarot and see. But I feel like you were the only person that showed this person unconditional love. And I feel like this person was very cold or withdrawn towards you and wore a mask in your relationship and did not give back. This person hid their feelings a lot from you. And it gave off very narcissistic traits. Like to you, it was, it was that's why it didn't work out. It was not reciprocal. You were giving and loving and this person was not doing that in return. And I feel like they just moved on to whoever, hurry up and got in a relationship and it's not the same. It's like they're in a relationship just to have someone there, but they watch you every day. It's like their person could be sitting right there beside them and they're just scrolling on their, staring at your picture while they person right there in a whole relationship, just got married or engaged or just went public with their relationship or whatever. It could be having a baby and everything and they're still checking you out faithfully. And for some of you, the person that they got with is a narcissist and don't like they're getting the same energy back that they gave you. Like they're, they're with somebody who's matching their energy that don't care. I just feel like they met their match or they met someone out there who didn't care as much as you did. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, hoovering. This person may even reach out and tell you that they're in a relationship or if you just got into one or got engaged or whatever, they may reach out to congratulate you. I feel like you're going to get some type of communication around the same time you get some information about this ex or this ex friend, family member, whomever, this person that's not in your life anymore, you're going to get a message from someone who wants to hang out or go take things to the next level with you so like right around the time you see i don't know this is just an example a facebook post about an old friend you guys used to be best friends you're not anymore they get engaged you get a, a text or call from co-workers or a friend asking you to hang out or go out or this person may even try to invite you to their wedding this old friend. And then look, wedding rings, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. I feel like for some of you, someone is getting married. And there's a deception about it, though. I don't want to say someone's lying about it. Either they're lying about it or they're not happy. This is just a, for show. This is weird. Like. I would hope someone's not reaching out out of nowhere and then proposing to you. Like, don't fall for it. Because you have girl with the snake, the empath, narcissist, paradigm. And then you have deception. Whomever this is, whether it's family, friend, work, love, someone who's not in your life anymore. If they're in another relationship, it's toxic as hell. It's toxic. Queen of Pentacles, it could be an earth sign, Virgo towards Capricorn. Judgment, you made the final judgment call. Either you walked away or they did. Either way, good riddance. Because girl... Queen of Swords, Air Sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like this is your energy towards the situation. You call judgment on it. You see it clearly. Even if they're the ones who walked away and you like, all right, stay gone. The door is locked. Don't come back. Yeah, you're not interested. Four of Cups, you're not interested in this shit. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. You're disinterested. You, this person may see you as wish fulfillment now. Yeah, two of wands, you've moved on. you moved on. And look, and eight of wands, overall energy. Expect them to reach out. Expect them to reach out. Could be a Sagittarius. I cut the deck and see justice. Libra. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.